What's up guys? We're here to kill Arc Tempered Valhazak. Now let's go over some things you will definitely need to try your best to survive against him because he is really, really uh, uh, almost triple the power he is of Tempered uh, Valhazak. So uh, what you want to do is definitely grab his armor if you don't have it already. His armor is probably the best, uh, one of the best to use against him because of the recovery uh, abilities that it has on it. Uh, myself, I do use the Valhazak as you can see. Uh, mix it up a little bit to get a little bit more defense with the Damascus armor um, <clears throat> and the Empress um, the embraces to get the divine blessing, wide range, and things like that. But you don't have to mix it up. You can just go with his armor and make sure you augment it, get it all the way up, and so that way you can use all the skills. But let's talk about some of the skills you'll need to use. Uh, let's start with, let's go here. You'll definitely need uh, at least three pieces so you can get the vitality to get the super recovery. You definitely need it. Uh, I use a defense boost. You can get a defense boost if you need, uh, because you're definitely going to need it with some of his hits. Always get a health boost, 50% health boost, and boost your stuff all the way up with a max potion against tempered muscles. This is a must. All right, uh, the divine blessing. You're definitely going to need a divine blessing because he hits really hard. One hit with that blast across the screen will take almost more than half of your uh, health. If, you, uh, if you're not powered all the way up, you'll probably die in one hit. Definitely die in two when he sweeps left and he sweeps back the other way, you're gone. So also, of course, this should be common sense, but I see people who still do not have a fluvial resistance when fighting tempered Valhazak. So now we have arc tempered, you definitely need to use the fluvial resistance. So those are the, the things that you will definitely need uh, it's these three, Divine Blessing, uh, Fluffy Resistance, and make sure you got your health boost. And hopefully you can fit in a defense boost and use his Super Recovery as well. Now, uh, what I'm going to suggest is you definitely use the Temporal Mantle. If you get, that way, if you get caught up in the sweeping motion, because the sweeping motion is way more powerful than it was before, you will get a dodge in and you will not take any damage. So I definitely suggest the Temporal Mantle is something to use. Now, what I use on my weapon, uh, the Devil's Crush here, you need the Elder Seal to make sure you can knock his effluvia off of his body so you can get in and get some good hits. Um, I use the Health Regen so that way as I'm hitting him, I'm steady regain, uh, regaining my health back, which is a good thing uh, to use against him, probably one of the best things to use against him, and to stack it with your recovery on your armor. Um, now, take note that he is now not, he doesn't start in the area with the acid on, as the water acid. He starts in the area with the, the acid in the air by 11. So he starts over there and of course you're going to lose damage and this does not help the fight at all. So if you have the charm that helps you get rid of the, uh, the damage, it's probably best to use that. But uh, make sure you have the vitality or temporal mantle, that way you can stay alive and not get hurt. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the battle. 